No hay NWA versus Marlon Tapales. Listen. Just let's get it out the way. He's a beast. He's a monster. The Japanese monster. And let's talk about what happened in this fight that no one else has done before except another fighter. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. This is Boxing Unwrapped. Now that the dust has cleared, Noaya Inoue versus Marlon Tapales. Listen, Marlon Tapales came in here with three losses. And then before anybody says, well, Inoue was defending at home in Japan. Listen, Tapales had actually fought four times in Japan and won. Almost like his hometown out of the Philippines. Outside the Philippines, right? So, Tapales was used to Japan, was used to the atmosphere, used to the elevation, all of that. A few things we found out about Inoue in this fight, at least I did. I mean, I had seen it before, but I hadn't seen it in a while. And I was reminded of it, I, I guess I should say. He can take a punch, so that's scary. Tapales, although he was dropped twice and eventually stopped... He did some good work. He got to the body. He was punching hard, catching him around the guard, up the middle a little bit. Inoue went nowhere. And the scary part about Inoue is that he actually punches harder as the fight goes on. You can see he's pushing his punches through the target. You hit him, he hits you twice as hard and twice as fast. I mean, he's just a, 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 Mike Tyson was not wrong. He is the Japanese monster. He's the monster out there. I mean, he had the title monster before Mike Tyson said that, but you know, Mike Tyson is now famous for saying that to fighters, right? Specifically David Benavides, but still. Anyway, I mean, where does he go from here? His, the, the, he's now undisputed at 122 pounds it's wild that i mean he went through a super seven or super six i think tournament where he fought the best of the best to become champ there and he's disposing of these guys as if they don't even belong in the same ring with him as if he's toying with them and he's 30 years old and he just seems to be getting better Tapales wasn't that much older. He had that face where you thought, oh, that guy's an old guy. No, he was only one year older. was 31. Had the IBF and WBO, I want to say, or WBA. I think it's that WBO. He was a unified champion. Very good one. Seasoned. Didn't look like he even belonged in the same rank. Now let's talk about what it is that Inoue did that no other boxer but one other one has done. And that is become undisputed in two different weight classes. Only done by Terrence Bud Crawford. That's right. Terrence Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford the only other boxer in history to be undisputed in two weight classes. Now accompanied by Noaya Inoue. Or as the Japanese would say, Inoue Noaya. That's right. They are the only two standing at the top with those credentials. Both undefeated. Both monsters. It's crazy. I can't wait to see what Inoue does next. I don't know where he goes from here. But whatever he does, I'll be watching. You'll be watching. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this fight and what his future should be. And I'm out.